Trying to multitask may feel effective, but it's actually counterproductive. In fact, it doesn't really exist. Not in the way most people think about it. In my book, The Myth of Multitasking, I show that what's occurring is either backtasking or switch tasking. You backtask when something that doesn't require your attention occurs in the background, like baking bread in the oven while you make a salad. Backtasking can be productive, but the problem is most people who think they're multitasking aren't backtasking, they're switch tasking. Switch tasking occurs when you try to do two or more attention requiring tasks at the same time, like trying to watch this video while you're sending a text message. Switch tasking is everywhere and it's a thief. It robs you of time, money, and your mental and emotional health. You're going to experience firsthand what I mean in this little exercise. Grab a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. Turn that paper sideways and draw three evenly spaced lines across it. This gives you four empty rows. By the way, there's also a downloadable worksheet with all these instructions available at the link on the screen. But for now, a pen and paper will do. Now this exercise is timed, so don't start until I say go. You're going to recopy in the first row this phrase, switch tasking is a thief. Then in the second row, you're just going to write the numbers one through 21, one number for each letter in the phrase. Make your paper look just like what you see on the screen. I'll call out the time every five seconds so you'll know your rough finish time. Got your pen and paper in front of you? Get ready, get set, and go. Five seconds. 10 seconds. 15. 20, we'll go 10 more. 25. and 30. And most people should be done by this point. Write down your approximate finish time. Now, we're going to do this again, but we're going to simulate switch tasking, trying to perform multiple attention requiring tasks at the same time. So, you're going to again recopy the phrase switch tasking is a thief in the third row and all the numbers 1 through 21 in the fourth row. But, this time, for every letter that you write in the third row, you're going to write the corresponding number in the fourth row. So you'll write S and then 1, W and then 2, I and then 3, and so on, until you make the third and fourth row look just like what you did the first time you did this. We'll time this again with me calling out the time every five seconds. Get your paper and your pencil ready, get set, and go. Five seconds. 10 seconds. 15. 20. 25. 30. This is where we were when we stopped last time. 35, 40, 45, 50 seconds. We'll go 10 more, 55, and 60. And if you're not done now, just give up. You just experienced a taste of the first three effects of switch tasking. First, the amount of time it takes to complete things increases, in some of your cases, up to twice as long as the first time. Second, the quality of the work decreases. Compare the work you did each time. Did you make mistakes? Did you finish on a number other than 21? Did your handwriting get worse? And third, consider how you felt the first time versus the second time. Most people, when they switch task, start to feel a lot of stress, even with a simple activity like this. Switch tasking is a thief. But the good news is, 
when you reduce switches, you'll have more free time, you'll make fewer mistakes, and you'll feel less stress. To regain control, think about your upcoming day and decide what's one task you're going to give 100% of your attention. And to learn more about how to reduce switch tasking, check out my book, The Myth of Multitasking, at multitaskbook.com.